What's going on, everybody? Dan on Filter checking out Repugnant? Hungry are the damned. All right. First of all, Repugnant, a fantastic... That's a fantastic band name. That's a great band name. Repugnant's a strong one. But I did my 10 seconds of half-assed internet research since I haven't heard of them or, like, no one sent me requests for them before. So, all right, let me just see what the hell... And I like the name. I was like, all right, let's see where they're from. Sweden, also... Jesus Christ, Sweden. But here's the thing. Their singers... The band is no longer active, apparently. The singer is Mary Gore, also known as Tobias Forge, the singer of Ghost. So, this was, I guess, his band before Ghost. And the Wikipedia credits this band as being like the... The, like the, the, the people who revitalized Swedish metal, which now is fucking spreading like wired wildfire. I'm I'm finding out. But let's check this out. Let's see what he sounds like way back in the day. Is he still satanic vibes? Is that what's happening? With lighthearted tones. Let's find out. With a name like Repugnant. I, I don't know. I, I, it's it's probably still going to be satanic. It has to be. Or it has to be something vile. They're called repugnant. Well, the melody right now, giving me heavy Black Sabbath back in the day vibes. Yeah. Tobias sounds different. <laughs> okay, this is definitely, you can definitely tell it's a different band than Ghost. Whole style. This is like legitimate death metal, thrash death metal. Where Ghost is, or from what I've heard from Ghost so far, slower. He's, his tone is completely different. Lyrically, this is very similar. You can tell the same guy writes the, the lyrics. You can tell the same guy writes the lyrics. It's just done completely different. Which I did say in one of the Ghost videos that I would like an actual, like, more death metal sound sounding band to cover one of their songs just to see if the lyrics transfer. Definitely do. Definitely do. Good Lord. Oh, 
We need a bridge. We need a bridge. Did, was that the... That shrieking? Was that the Alfred Hitchcock psycho sound? Was that the was? It sounded like it. Or at least very similar. Okay. check to make sure the drummer's okay good fucking heavens and they gave us two good two different guitar solos the first one i think it was a little shorter but it was it was a miniature guitar solo that one the the song all of a sudden and the guitar sounded like a ghost guitar solo you know the, the tone got a little lighter than the rest of this song and everything slowed down slightly for the solos but good lord that poor fucking drummer. Oh, I mean, I would have thrown up having to... That The speed was crazy. The speed at which, from beginning to end, besides about 10 seconds of this four and a half minute song, besides about 10 or 15 seconds combined, just balls to the fucking wall, speed thrash the whole way, just fucking shit up the whole time the whole time now i could have i would have preferred tobias to do some clean vocals for a bridge there looked like they felt like there was a moment where he was starting to like he was about to there was a moment where it felt like it but he didn't get all the way there i would have liked it would have been a nice tone shift to add because metal that's this fast holy shit you, you kind of do need some sprinklings of sunlight. <laughs> so of sunlight. Some some inner light beam in the song to kind of lighten the mood. You know what I mean? It's got too much like it's a meal that has too much sour. We need a little we need a little sweet on it. We put a little put a little sweetness to it. But my god. Salute these gentlemen indefinitely. I guess this is just how Tobias feels and has always felt. <laughs> yeah. Lyrically, that could have been a ghost song. Easily, because it was heavy on the the dark vibes. Uh, and I would say satanic, but then he also... The chorus was Nosferatu is in you, and Nosferatu's like... Kind of a... He's a vampire, right? Kind of like a Dracula before Dracula type of thing. Unless it means something else. But I know in the movies, Nosferatu is obviously a vampire. But my God. I wasn't prepared for that. I was not. Because 
from what I've heard from Ghost so far, they do get heavy at times. I think Year Zero was one. But, for the most part, Tobias stays with slowed, methodical, clean vocals with an almost operatic voice. Here, nah. He said, fuck my voice box and just tore through it from beginning to end. I guess that's why they're called repugnant. It makes sense. What did you guys think? I do think he's better suited, though, for the ghost sound. Because even though, like, his harsh vocals here weren't bad, they don't stand out. Where, you know, from, like, a pack of a group of bands. But his ghost, when he's using that, the the deep, booming, operatic, clean vocals, fills up a whole fucking room. So I'm, I think he made the right decision for going for that sound more often than not. But let me know what you guys think. Matt, appreciate your homie as always. And by the time this video uploads, the Bengals will have probably either won or lost a playoff game against the Bills. Hopefully we can, hopefully, hopefully by the time this uploads, uh, I'm not blind drunk in uh, despair. <laughs> if you are still here, then you are a real one.